In previous video, we already learned how to find inverse matrix for 2 by 2 matrix by using adjoint method. In this video, we will learn how to find inverse matrix for 3 by 3 matrix by using adjoint method. For 3 by 3 matrix, let's say matrix A, to find its inverse using the adjoint method, there are 4 steps that we need to do. First step, we need to find the determinant for the matrix A. Second step, we need to find the core factor matrix for the matrix A. The third step, transpose the core factor matrix to obtain the adjoint of A. The fourth step, substitute the determinant and the adjoint matrix into the formula. The formula is 1 over determinant times the adjoint matrix, where the determinant of A we get from the first step and the adjoint is from the third step. Now, let's take a look at an example. Find the inverse for the matrix A with the element 1, 3, 2, 0, 2, 2, negative 2, negative 1, 0. So, to find the inverse for the matrix A, the first step is to find the determinant of A. Why we need to find the determinant first among others? Because in this step, we can determine whether the matrix has the inverse or not. If the value of the determinant is 0, that's mean the matrix is singular, or in other words, does not have an inverse. So, we can directly conclude that the matrix is singular. Alright, so now we're going to calculate the determinant of A. To make our life easy, usually we will choose a row or a column that contains element of zero. So in this example, we will choose second row to find the determinant since there is a zero element. And we also need to refer to this arrangement of sign as a guide to calculate the determinant. Okay, so the first element of second row is 0 and the corresponding sign for this element is negative. So first, we have negative 0. Or actually, we just can write it 0 since eventually it will become 0. But for the sake of this video, I will do the normal process. So we know what happens step by step. Okay, after that, since 0 is in the first column and second row, so we cover the first column and the second row. And then, copy the elements that not been covered and write it in the form of determinant for 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, next, the second element in the second row is 2 and the corresponding sign for this element is positive. So, the next term is plus 2. Okay. After that, since 2 is in the second column and second row, so we cover the second column and the second row and copy what is left and multiply here. Okay, next, the third element in the second row is 2 and the corresponding sign for this element is negative. So the next term is minus 2. Okay, after that, since 2 is in the third column and second row, so we cover the third column and the second row and then copy what is left and multiply here. Okay, so now we're going to calculate this. So the first term is just 0 and the second term is plus 2 times this determinant which is 1 times 0 minus negative 2 times 2. Next is minus 2 times this determinant, which is 1 times negative 1 minus negative 2 times 3. Next, we simplify this expression. 1 times 0 is 0, minus negative 2 times 2 is plus 4, 0 plus 4 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, and then 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, minus negative 2 times 3 is plus 6, and negative 1 plus 6 is 5, and negative 2 times 5 is minus 10, 
and 8 minus 10 is just negative 2. So, the determinant of A is negative 2. So, finish the first step. The second step is to find the cofactor matrix of matrix A. We do not need as matrix C. So, we prepare here a big blank 3x3 three three matrix since we need a big space for this process. Alright, for the first element of cofactor matrix, we will use the corresponding element in the matrix A. In this case, the first element is 1. Since 1 is at the first row and the first column, so we cover the first row and the first column and we copy the elements that not been covered into the first element for the matrix C and we write it in the form of determinant for 2 by 2 or this is just a minor for the first element. To make it become cofactor, we need to multiply it with its corresponding signs. The first element is positive, so we multiply this with positive. It doesn't matter if we write the positive sign or not. No signs mean positive anyway. Alright, so now we move to the second element. Since second element is at the first row and second column, so we cover the first row and the second column. And then copy the uncovered element to the matrix C. And again, we multiply this with its corresponding sign, which is negative. So now we move to the third element. As you can see, we will repeat the same process for all elements. So I will speed up this video since it is just the same process as before. Alright, we're done copying all elements for cofactor matrix C. So what is left is to calculate each element to get its cofactor. It's just a matter of calculating determinant for 2 by 2 matrix. So for each element, we multiply like this and we get this. And further simplify until we get the value for each element. Okay. So the first element is 2, second element is negative 4, and then 4, negative 2, 4, negative 5, 2, negative 2, and lastly 2. So we get this matrix C, or the core factor matrix of matrix A. So finish the second step. Okay, so when we have matrix C, the third step is to transpose the matrix C. So we will get the adjoint of A. To transpose, we just make all the rows become columns and columns become rows. So C transpose is what we call an adjoint of A. So now we already have all things that we need. We have the determinant of A and also we have the adjoint of A. So the last step is just substitute these two things into the formula. So determinant of A is negative 2 and the adjoint of A is this matrix. So we get 1 over negative 2 times the adjoint of the matrix. And remember to multiply in the scalar into the matrix. We cannot let the fraction is outside the matrix. So each element need to be multiplied by negative half. Or in other words, we divide each element with negative 2. And then we simplify each element to the simplest value. So we get the inverse of A is negative 1, 1, negative 1. 2, negative 2, 1, negative 2, 5 over 2, negative 1. So, this is the answer. So, that's how to find the inverse for 3 by 3 matrix by using adjoint method. So, please do the exercise to gain more understanding. Thank you.